Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Premiere Next. In this video you are going to get all the information related to the review updates of Arcane Season 2 We first met the tragically afflicted sisters V and Powder in the first season of Arcane. The two young girls are sent down to completely different courses after their adoptive father Vander passes away. As Powder starts to embrace her dark side and calls herself Jinx, she is pulled in by Silco, a crime lord who controls the undercity of Zon. V is released from years of incarceration in the affluent city of Piltover by a young enforcer named Caitlin, who is trying to find Jinx. Jinx's deadly terrorist strike on Piltover's council headquarters marked the end of the season, shattering the sisters' bond. For better or worse, season 2 jumps right back into the action, even though we might have had to wait three years to find out what happens next. As the conflict between Piltover and Zun has intensified, it should come as no surprise that Jinx's activities have hit fatal results. Vis struggles with whether to follow Caitlyn's path of becoming an enforcer, while Jinx, who is still immature, feels compelled to assume a leadership role in Zon's criminal underworld. You can tell right away that it probably takes a lot of time to develop a series like Arcane just by looking at the animation quality of the series, even if you're not familiar with it. Although the three-year break shouldn't come as a huge surprise, the season opens with both casual and die-hard viewers expecting to instantly recall everything that happened in the previous season. Yes, a brief synopsis can swiftly address that, but the narrative's intensity is so intense that it might turn off some of the first season's more casual viewers. Fortunately, season 2 manages to settle in by the second episode, launching fresh and surprising storylines that the vast cast of heroes and villains in the series follow. Arcane Season 2 raises the stakes both physically and emotionally My interest in Arcane was initially sparked by its animation style, but I quickly grew to love both V and Jinx. Season 2 takes just as much time developing the characters as the first season did, but it also dares to be even more ambitious with its stunning and colorful action set pieces. In Season 2, V and Caitlin's possible romance is further developed as the new episode set the stage for their relationship's inevitable highs and lows. The plot will undoubtedly draw attention and take some unexpected turns, but the series never presents their relationship as flat. Similar to Season 1, Jinx is unquestionably the high point of this upcoming chapter. Although gamers are aware that the blue-haired rebel is a force for mayhem motivated solely by her own desires, Arcane isn't afraid to show her complexity. She has one of the most emotionally taxing journeys in Season 2, and even though we see her continuing to make some dubious choices, we can understand her perspective. Although she is by no means a hero, it makes sense that Vis still has feelings for her. The first episode's structure may first make some viewers feel attacked, but the series soon pulls you back in, and you'll quickly recall what first drew you to it. Additionally, the voices of Pernal and Steinfeld are ideal for V and Jinx. Since the first season, Pernal's degree of notoriety has only increased, particularly in the wake of popular shows like Yellow Jackets and Fallout. Pernal's voice, however, is never overpowering or overly familiar, and it differs greatly from her performances as Lucy and Jackie in the previously mentioned series, much like Steinfeld in the first season. If you are watching this video on YouTube, Please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates related to upcoming movies and series.